Hello everybody, this is Budrich and yeah, this video, uh, if it's not broken, pseudo Pacman SYU. Uh, originally I, I was just going to record a, a video about uh, my, my workflow for, for creating the Thunar videos and stuff because I, I changed the, the directory structure and whatever. Uh, and I started the recording, uh, or I rebooted my computer. I had the, the, um, just made a, a Pac-Man update and everything, you know, classic. And now I, uh, maybe you should use a grown-up distro. But no, I like Arc. I like Pac-Man. I like, I like it. It's okay. It's fine. It wasn't Pac-Man's fault. Uh, it was uh, Sublime. And oh, uh, but Sublime, uh, Vim. You can use a new Vim uh, space back. No, I like Sublime also, and the feature that I like the most with Sublime is this excellent uh, uh, project managing thing here. I can open many different projects very fast with different uh, folder structures, and th that was actually one of the things I wanted to discuss in that video. Uh, but uh, when uh, Pac-Man updated, there was an update for Sublime, and uh, that update uh broke this uh, project switching thing now i'm using the old version here so i thought let's make let's bake that into the video let's re-record the video and show you how i downgraded uh, sublime so i'm not using the, the the new version and that was not that difficult i have a project here called system here it's now it's already open my pacman conf and here i have the etsy directory from root you know here we have pacman conf this is you see this is nice sublime good stuff but whatever um and i have added now uh, sublime text to ignored packages here ignore pkg it's uh, originally it's commented out like this and it doesn't say sublime text here, of course. But uncomment this line and add the package package that you don't want uh, upgrades for. Super simple. But now let's ignore this and update sublime so, so I can show you the issue and how to upgrade, downgrade, whatever grade you know. Now something else will probably break here. Pac-Man. S Y U. It should only find Sublime Text here. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. New version of Sublime Text. Nice. Even number thirty-one ninety. Great. Thank you, man. And you see, nothing happens. I have to restart Sublime for to to get the the new excellent update here. Exit Sublime. It's, what's going on? Kill all sublime text. Whatever. Uh, uh, open sublime. There, and we get this. Oh, hey, hey, Budrich, we have changed a lot of things here. Fixed Linux fixes here. Something, but nothing about projects here. I have no idea what it is. And I, I really tried disabling, enabling different packages and stuff. I couldn't uh, fix it like this. I, of course, I'm going to check that. I haven't done so. I haven't uh, looked at the forums, but this, this update came now. So, so there will probably not be any um, uh, solutions to this. And usually when Sublime have issues like that, they, they update it pretty quick you can see here it's it's just a three day uh, uh, um, yeah they fix some crash here the, the, this happens it happens with every every uh, program and I'm using the be, uh, dev the dev channel so this is kind of like the beta channel so this this is expected this would happen if you use the beta channel or for Firefox or whatever it, it happens sometimes that a new bug is introduced and this bug, it looked like this. So now if I change uh, a project here to awk, for instance, awk, it works fine. And maybe dots uh, project here, it works fine. But then the project that I wanted to show you to, maybe it works now, I don't know. Thunar here, yeah, it crashes now. 
for some reason that Thunar project crashes. I tried to remove all directories from it. It just didn't like that I had a project named Thunar. It crashes when I open that. Uh, and we cannot have that, you know, when I have a Thunar video series going on here. So, <clears throat> and I couldn't fix the issue uh, by, by disabling, enabling packages in Sublime and whatever. And doing the, the regular things I, that, because I have had issue, similar issues before, but no, I couldn't fix it. So I looked into the best uh, wiki in the world, which is the Arc Linux wiki, how to downgrade packages. And it, um, um, yeah, describes that here. Or I just read this, of course. I haven't read any. I ignored red, uh, like text with red background like that. Always ignore, because that that can make you feel uncomfortable and stuff. It's not good. Kidding, kidding. Of course, read the warning here. It, and it, it's obvious things that it might install uh, dependencies. Don't, don't. Uh, batch downgrade a lot of packages at the same time and so on don't do that but to downgrade the package first we uninstall uh, sublime text package here now sudo pacman r sublime text and r is kind of remove package uninstall you can also add the s uh, flag here that will also uninstall any dependencies that only this package needs. I, I usually use that, but now let's settle with this. It's, uh, it's probably this. Yeah, there, uninstall. Now we don't have Sublime on our system if I try to execute Subul. No such file. Um, and to uh, install an, a previous version. If you are lucky, then you have uh, that version in CD uh, or not CD var cache pacman pkg. And here we have all our packages. You see, because pacman it, it doesn't remove when you install a new version. It just add this to this list. So, so this. This directory after a while I should probably clean this a bit now because it's it's uh, th this just grows and uh, after a year which is usually how long I wait till I till I uh, clean this directory it can become many many gigabytes but whatever right now I am happy it isn't clean because now I can uh, if we do sublime text we can list here the sublime text packages uh, we have. Let's do a long list. It's impossible to read this like this. Here. Here is the latest, you know, uh, 3190. This is the version prior to that where everything was working fine. I had no issues at all with, with this uh, version. So if I want to install this instead of um, the newest version i i just do pacman dash capital u and then you install directly from a tarball like this so i probably have it here sudo pacman dash u and there it is i will show you this sometime also how to navigate the history like this just uh, typing a command and then up and down arrow and then i can yeah whatever sidetrack Install this, yeah, sure, 3189, great version. And now if I open Sublime, everything should work fine. I switch to Thunar, took some time, but it's okay, yeah. It takes some time to switch to some of these uh, 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 projects probably because it have to rebuild the workspace file it's called. And But no, it, now it's super fast and works just as expected, really good. And then the last thing you need to do here now is to uh, ignore this package that you have downgraded because otherwise it will just upgrade this every time I run uh, sudo pacman syu, you know. But now uh, if I do that, sudo pacman that's why you this was slow 
Sublime Text is up to date. Ignoring package here. It, it, it sees that uh, it is upgraded, but it is ignoring it. It's, it's good. We get the warning also. So we get reminded of that every time. And then I can keep track of this when this is uh, 91. And we try the new ver version again. But till then, I will use this 89 version. So that's how you downgrade a package uh, on an Arc system. Of course, this could... Uh, now it worked fine with uh, in, in this case, but if if the package that you downgrade uh, have a bunch of weird dependencies and stuff, maybe it doesn't work, or maybe it does. But it was actually qu quite uh, easy to do, and I I think I have to set up some some rule to always save. I don't know uh, if you can do that somehow only saving like uh, two versions and, and so it auto cleans this cache somehow i don't need like 10 versions of, of a of a program but maybe the last two versions could always be in the cache and that have to be uh, i have to be able to set that up somehow and here we can see there are some downgrader tools also here maybe they would be smarter or maybe not because I don't think this was difficult at all to do you can even downgrade the kernel here uh, I would not try that but whatever okay so that's how you downgrade packages and now I feel like this video dragged on dragged on so long so the behind the scenes video about my incredibly advanced uh, directory structure for the Thunar video uh, series project We'll have to wait. But you can see here, Thunar, work in progress, eight videos um, is uh, recorded. And it took four videos just to create uh, a, the simple layout, auto layout thing here. So you asked for it, you got it. I, I have to, and, and now I have to finish this uh, Thunar series because right now my Thunar is, is kind of... Um, half <laughs> half broken I, I have to reapply all, all my fixes but that's what was another thing with this uh, my uh, incredible uh, directory structure here now i can have different versions of my door tax here and just sim link them to this thunar directory and then uh, it should work so i should uh, be able to have because up until now, uh, I have been using the same versions I have in the videos uh, and building on it, but I'm getting annoyed. I, I miss my old, uh, my old, uh, where everything is working, and now I can easily switch between the versions. Whatever. Now I'm almost discussed this. Uh, did discuss this, anyways. Thank you for watching, everybody. Uh, see you in the next. Thunar video. I think I will squeeze this in here before I upload uh, Thunar number three, which I could say then uh, now because this video uh, we will create a little um, Python script here. Thunar listen Thunar IPC here. I'd never mentioned this in that video, but we have this uh, start Thunar IPC start dot sh uh, that you can that will be included in this directory and every other directory as well here which uh, I recommend you using to start the Python script because it also restarts the script so you can use this to, to restart and start and even debug the script here easily by using this I never discussed that in the video you, you will see okay that's all from uh, the bug labs a uh, little behind the scenes uh, video you know or whatever. Have a great day, everybody. Bye.